Here's a tutorial on how to use the parametric equalizer to improve your audio in Adobe Premiere Pro. The old EQ filter was ditched in the latest update of CC 2017, so now we can use the parametric equalizer to improve our audio. So let's just drop it onto this clip, and you can see it appears in our audio effects bin. So this is just a clip that I shot in my house with my iPhone, bad audio quality, no noise reduction. And this is actually a clip for my video production boot camp. Let's listen through it a little bit. When we were filming in this room in my kitchen, and I really noticed it. So it's quiet, so there's not much background noise, but my vocal, the sound of my voice isn't great. So let's click Edit Parametric Equalizer. And you get the same sort of graph that you had with the EQ effect. You have your frequencies going left to right, and then up and down you have your master gain, or the decibel level of that audio. So if we click and drag up or down any of these points, then what we get is actually an increase or decrease of those frequencies. So let's just play through and show you. So when I started editing the videos, is that there was a decent amount of echo. So if I bring down the low frequencies, you only hear more of the high frequencies. If I bring this up, go in the room and it's mostly be you get all that low frequencies, okay? So we can play around with these to change the sound of our voice and make it sound better. And it's going to be different for every person because our voices have different frequencies. Some of our voices are high, some are low. And we can add actually a cut, a high cut or low cut to this effect as well, which will completely get rid of any sounds below or above certain frequencies. And that's usually how I start. And that's with this button right here. This is a low cut filter. So what it's doing is it's cutting all sounds under 40 hertz. I typically set it at around 80 because my voice doesn't have many frequencies under that. So now if we play through it, we were filming at my table, which sounds a little bit better. And we can turn it on and off with this bypass button over here. The hard surface, all the walls, I don't really have. Very anything. subtle. So now let's do the same thing with the hide cut. So we're gonna cut this right here and set it at 6,500. The walls right now, there's windows, and then behind me, of course. Okay, so now I'm going to play around with the different frequencies and just watch what I'm doing and then listen. In the kitchen, there's the hard surfaces of the countertops, the refrigerator, and our floors are all hard too. We don't have carpet uh, and we don't really have any rugs in here as well. So I think I'm going to try. I definitely don't want to increase these higher frequencies. It doesn't sound good. My kitchen, and I really noticed it when I started editing the videos, is that there was a decent amount of echo. In One thing we can do also is change the width of these points. So if we don't want an effect so much, we can increase this range right here, the Q width. So now that only is picking specific frequencies rather than a bigger range. In the room, and it's mostly because it's a lot of hard surfaces. We were filming at my table, which is a hard surface. All the walls, I don't really have anything on the walls right now. There's windows, and then behind me, of course, in the kitchen, there's the hard surfaces of the countertops, the refrigerator, and our floors are all hard too. We don't have carpet, uh, and we don't really have any rugs in here as well. So I think I'm going to try testing out just placing a blanket on top of the table to see. Okay, so you heard that when I brought this down, it started to sound a little wonky too. So when I'm bringing down the low frequencies on my voice, it sounds weird. And then when I'm bringing up the higher frequencies, it sounds weird. So something like this kind of helps make me sound a little bit fuller. So bringing up the lows, not to sound bassy, but just a little bit more warmth, I would say, in those low frequencies. Because it's a lot of hard surfaces. We were filming at my table, which is bypassed All with the, the effect. I don't really have anything on the walls right so that's how you use the parametric equalizer to improve your sound basically you have these points you can increase or decrease those frequencies you can turn on the low cut or the high cut filters to just get rid of any of those frequencies under this part right here if you don't want it to cut completely you can click this button and it more gently decreases but it's not a hard cut and sometimes that's better for your voice and then increasing or decreasing the width of these points to include more or less frequencies. So in the, ne the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to use this effect to actually get rid of echo, 
which is another thing you can do with this effect. But now you know how to use the parametric equalizer. If you have any questions, please let me know.